So here we are. <laughs> We've been here before. We can relax. It's a lot less shocking than before. So come in to Birmingham, go past Freightliner, come to the mosque, do a right, come uh, come down the goal, approach via the Golden Hillock Road. Mm. And then do a right to this island here. Um, the first time I came here, I was really fully stressed out, fully stressed out. But now, now we know what the crack is, we're all right. Don't panic, don't panic, do it right. And then do an immediate left, immediate left, right? Now you've got to swing wide into this left. It's a shit tight turn, but do, it's a dead end. Do an immediate left, right, and cross the road. Go in wide, go in wide on this left turn. Remembering your, um, remember you've got an arse end, so don't get too close to these cars here. Take the whole road up, block the road, that's it. Good lad, come on, we've got cars behind us. Oh, that Mini, oh, oh shit. That Mini's bad. Okay, come on. Swing in wide, swing in nice and wide. Watch that Mini. Oh, that Mini's bad. Swing in. Now, when you first come here, you get yourself an heart attack and you think, oh, I'm never going to get in. I'm never going to get out. Look at that Mini. Oh, come on. Don't be so close to the corner. We're going to miss the Mini. Come over here a bit. Can you see the Mini? Yeah, come on. So, as it turns out, the Mini is not a problem. Let's have a look in the mirror. Where are we? <laughs> It's close, but you can miss the mini. <laughs> and you're coming up here, you're, uh, you're all right. First time when you come here, you absolutely poop yourself. You think, oh my God, I'm never gonna get out. Boys, you will get out. The boys up here, turn you around, okay? It's a blindside reverse, but it's not as shocking as the first time you come here and you've not been here before and you've got to find it. And you're thinking, oh my God. And your sat nav is telling you to come up here. It's a dead end up there. The sign said it was a dead end. You're coming up here thinking, oh my God, I'm never gonna get out of here. What the hell have I just done? But this is the way in boys. This is the way in. And they're a bunch of clever lads. They will get you out. See that truck now, watch that truck. They're waiting for you. We will be backing, we will be blindside backing up there in a minute. We're just going to move the truck out of the way and we're going to do a right. Yeah, believe it or not, we're going to do a right up here, down another dead end, and you've got to find the keys. Ah, he's fetching someone out. Anyway, let's save the film and uh, when we move forward, when he beckons us forward, we'll uh, do a bit more. So we will end up, <laughs> what, do you know where he's backing up? These cars won't move and we will end up backing up there. Now, I went a bit tight last time. So, I went a bit tight last time. I think the same damn cars are here, you know. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna push that out of the way, yeah. He's gonna allow us to swing because of the rear end. He's trying to make space. He's beckoned us forward, let's go. Let's go, let's go, we're doing a right here. We're doing a right. Watch your arse end on these cars. Completely the blind side here, but they're, they're really good here. They're waiting for us and they're gonna see us. Don't worry about taking this curb on the way in. Watch this car there. Right, go nice and at our end. He's watching the end for you. There you are. Once you've passed them, swing in, swing in, take the curb. Take the curb, take the curb, take the curb, take the curb. Come on. That's it. What's that corner? There we are. No problem. That's we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Come on. We're going to go on this ramp. They're probably going to pull oh them. all the way to the end. Okay. All the way to the end. Okay. All the way to the end. <laughs> These boys will get you out. Don't panic. Like what I did, don't go, oh shit, what are we gonna do now? 
anyway these boys will get you out they're really good at guiding you so let's let's go up here we'll have to look at the last film the same damn cars are here because they get abandoned and dumped here go all the way to the end he says right let's get this shit off and let's uh, get out of here we haven't cleared the shit off the streets yet. Come on, let's go and take a walkies. Dead end up there. Let's take a walkies. Let's take a walkies, see what we gotta do. So flooring, I think. Yeah, I think it's some sort of flooring stuff. It won't be long. Let's take a walk up here. This is how we came in. Watch that wall, that wall comes up quick on you. It hasn't been not coming in, it's been not coming out. So when we come out now, as frightening as it seems, these cars won't move. We'll come in now, last time I came a bit tight. Look, it's quite, it's quite a space. Just chill, man. And just back into here. We're going to re blindside into here, but it's quite, wide watch out for that sack on the corner um you can't get out that way so look there's a barrier across it which is a bit of a bit of a bummer but they will blindside you into here you will will end up really close to these cars but they're really good at guiding you you can trust them it's not a case of keep coming keep coming keep coming bang oh i didn't say stop you know they weren't watching, these are real good boys here. They'll get you out. And then, that's the way out. <laughs> Second time around, you can relax. But when you come here for the first time, oh, brown trouser time, need a change of clothes. You think to yourself, oh God, I've come up here. Where am I going? What am I doing? How the hell am I gonna get out of here? They, they will get you out, the lads will get you out. And don't turn it quite so sharp this time, but blindside out. You've got to be careful up here, you rock on this, on this. He'll get you, he'll get you to climb this curb. So you have to give it power to get your wheel over this curb. But you have to have the throttle on to get over this curb. But remember you've got this wall in front of you. So you've just got to pop yourself on here and get yourself back out again. Hmm. So, um, I think this next time, I'm gonna put my nose in there, I think. I think that might help, but watch this wall on the way out. Because, uh, and this fence. And remember, this sticks out. So this fence isn't this wide, is it? Because of the railings, because of the wire, it's this wide. So keep away from it. Hmm. But, uh, hmm. Let's see how we get on. It's, and don't knock the lamppost. <laughs> what a place. Oh, the things we do to bring you goods out of containers. What is it? I think it's some sort of, is it plasterboard or? I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, it looks like plasterboard, doesn't it? Yeah. So, you know, you know, I like to cover my arse. I'm over there, I'm loaded, I haven't come out yet. I just want you to spot the scratches and the damage on these vehicles before I come out. There's a scratch on that door, look, there's a touch on that door. There's a dent and a scratch on this car. It won't move, but we won't be doing any damage to it. No. So, the corner of that one's been caught as well. So, um, yeah, we um, we didn't do this because we haven't come out yet. Right, I have done it in the past. I've took one with me in the past. <laughs> I must tell you that story. Yeah. So let me tell you the story. I like telling you stories. Let me tell you the story of Loughborough. There was a B and Q in Loughborough, and you had to go through the car park to come around to get to the entrance, to the back entrance of the B&Q. I think it's the old B&Q. I think they've rebuilt a new one. 
I used to deliver to the b &Qs when they first started. They first started off in smaller shops, not like they are now. Anyway, uh, I had a 45 footer. And as you know, with a 45 footer, you've got a longer arse and a longer shoulder. So I'm going round these cars. I have to do a right turn, a real sharp right turn. And um, unbeknown to me, as, as your shoulder comes out on your, your left hand side, as you, you know, the trailer comes out, doesn't it? On a 45 footer, when you go out, when you go around, uh, we were on deep pins at that time, so it had a hell of a sticky out on the corner. Anyway, I managed to pick this car up. <laughs> I had to pick this car up. It went through the window. I picked it up under the window and dragged it round through the car park with me. And then uh, came to a stop and, and sort of realized, oh shit, what's that car doing there? Anyway, um, I, um, and then I had to go and find the bloke <laughs> that I'd wrecked his car for him. <laughs> I had to go into the, um, blah, 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 registration, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, is that your car outside? Well, I've totaled it. <laughs> I picked it up and dragged it through the car park with me. <laughs> oh dear me, it happens. You send us to tight places, things will happen. It will happen eventually, um, luckily. I think that particular shop now, they've, they've changed it or, you know, they've done something different with it because I've been there since. But, uh, and I'm talking, oh, easily 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, 20 odd years ago that would have been, yeah, being q 20 years ago. I'm sure it was Loughborough, I think. You know, you know, when these incidents happen, you never forget them, do you? You always know the spot where it happened, yeah. Wow, that was a day. And, and the, the gentleman was really understanding. He, he was a, a university uh, lecturer or he was somebody highly educated worked in the university there in, in Loughborough, really, you know, I, I, I was nice to him, he was nice to me, uh, uh, he really understood, oh shit, do you know, um, but yeah, yeah, I'm not immune from the odd, um, over the years, when you've been driving this long, all these people, you might go to a party, you might see a trucker, oh yeah, it's never happened to me. Yeah, you tell them they're liars. It's happened to all of us in our turn when it comes about. <laughs> so happened to all of us. If you've been on the road this long, stuff has happened. Yeah, you can. You couldn't even write it in a book. You couldn't even make it up, the stuff, the stuff that happens in transport. You couldn't even imagine what goes on and how much of it goes on, yeah. Right, I'm going to put you there. Let's see what happens. Listen to the man. Open your windows and listen to the man. Because he's the only one that's going to get you out of here. You won't get out on your own. So, let's uh, square up first. All right, mate. Now, well, last time I went a bit tight, so just don't quite turn it so tight this time. Let's cross over the road first, Let's pass the ramp. The thing is, when these are going backwards, they behave a different way. But of course, instead of being front wheel drive, when you're reversing, you're instead of being steering from the front now, because I'm going backwards, it's like steering from behind, isn't it? So they, they do a little different shape. Come on, let's see if we can get the hell out of here without taking anything with us. <laughs> We need to go that way a bit, get off the wood. We pass these around. Run over the wood. Can't swing until you pass these around.
Now we can begin to swing. to the beach of a place. Let me get my nose in that corner. Yeah. Yeah, get my nose in that corner. Good luck. Keep over. Alright, keep over. Now we can... Yeah, now we can have a go at it. Full lock. He's a good lad, stands in the mirror. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Keep it on full lock. Yeah, need to do a bit, yeah, do a bit more sneaky. Mm -hmm. be now, because now my ass is pointing the right way. Oh, no, 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 no. no, too tight. Okay. Yeah? Okay, this way around, yeah. Make it like a snake. Okay, make it like a snake. Full lock, yeah, you know? <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, fully locked. Fully, fully, come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, now, keep going, turn back, good one. Okay. Come on, here we go, other way. Uh, that way. This way. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. Keep going, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, come inside the yard, okay. You know you can come inside the yard and just back it straight out. Okay. Good. Okay. Just bring in the yard. Okay. Okay, bring in the yard. Cut that up a bit. That should come in the yard now. Come on, come on, Looking good. Yeah. Right, bring it inside, okay. Straight back. 
I want to move a black car from behind. Okay. Will you carry on going? Keep, keep going, keep going. going mate. Hold on, let him, let him, let him walk by. Normally get okay. No, it's alright. Yeah, no, you get good days and bad days, don't you? I can change that angle a bit. Yeah, keep away from the gate. Keep going. I could do it. Yeah. We're going for the car now, hold on. No, I'm not anything to do with the I'm not doing it past the gate. Okay, just clear the gate, okay. So, that silver card, real tight. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that corner of that silver car. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Gonna go? Okay. Uh, that way. you have to go back again. You can't do it. Yeah, just that little bit, isn't it? Don't worry. Chill, man. We'll get it, we'll get it. You have to go back outside, not inside. Oh. You want to do it from here? No. Go back outside, go back on the road. Yeah? Yeah, you want. I want to give it up. Try it, I just need to come slightly. Yeah, you need to go left on the road, more. We'll turn it out, turn it out. You sure? Get it out, okay. It's not going to work, okay. That might do a bit. Yeah. Gentle, gentle. Full lock. I take it over there again. Take it over there again. Okay. Does this want to work today, right? We nearly there, you know. Right, full lock, yeah? No, we don't. Don't overlock it, okay. It's okay? Good. Come on, both sides are clear. Lock it over. Lock up, yeah. Full lock up, yeah. Keep going. Full lock, keep going. Full lock, yeah. Lock, lock off. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, full lock, come on. Come on. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Looking good. Come on, 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 Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Full lock backwards, yeah. Uh, which way? This way? Back? Forward, full lock. Forward, okay, hold on. What's the curb? No, right. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look, the boys will get you out. That wasn't strictly correct, but it don't matter without.
Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. This fucking mini is right on the corner. Yeah, cross the road. Yeah, cross the road and come in wide. But watch the mini. The mini is really tight. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm even going to get out with that mini there. Oh, Monday morning. What are we getting to on Monday? Is this your first time here? Oh. Look. All you gotta do is listen to what they say. Yeah. Yeah. Completely trust them; they'll yeah. get you out. But they're they're good like they're a good bunch. But it's I'm going that way. It's frightening the first time. You shit yourself. Nice and wide. You'll cover this mini just. Keep your eye on that mini. Here's one coming in for the first time. The good thing is, at least he's seen that it's doable, which is a, helps a lot. That mini's clear now. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> hey, good luck. Yeah. 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 But watch your arse, you're not too close to these because your arse end will catch you going in, but you'll be alright. Hey, you think you can do it, you can do it, no problem. <laughs> right, get the hell out of here. Nope. Yeah, I've, fabulous. A nice I've, just, I've just brought a container full of white goods to fill in a warehouse full of white goods. Yeah. I, I'm, well. Look at what we're delivering, delivering today. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about this place. Wow. It's not called Brock Metals anymore, but this is Brock. This is a place around the corner to me. And um, yeah, we're delivering. He's gonna take a few of these off first, then I'll back on the ramp. Yeah, so let me uh, get in the cab and start you my story. So this is Brock Metals, this is. <laughs> wow, let me tell you my story. <laughs> you know, I worked here oh, 20 years ago. Yeah, it would have been about 20 years ago. Because I've been a limited company for next year, 20 years. Anyway, um, these used to be full of, there were scrap bins up here, empty bins all up against this wall. It's where they used to keep the empty bins full of scrap. The whole place has changed now. Uh, but it much does the same thing. It's a foundry. Anyway, <laughs> let me tell you a funny story. Um, the uh, zinc bars, they make zinc bars here anyway. Been, do been doing it in one form or another for years and years. And um, I used to drive the, the ERF, the eight-wheeler ERF and the Foden. And um, anyway, I still speak to a few of the boys from here. <laughs> Frankie, where are you? Where are you today, Frankie? <laughs> anyway, um, how did it end here? Yeah, well, as typical, what truck drivers can do. What had happened, I'd made a delivery. Now this stuff, it goes into furnaces. You can't allow this to get wet uh, and put it in a furnace, it would explode. So you have to keep it dry. So on a rainy day, when you do your deliveries, you've got to sheet it. You know, got to cover it with, uh, and keep it dry. Flat backs then, yeah. Uh, anyway, they had wooden sides on them. Anyway, I delivered, as, as this is what I remember, because remember, we're trying to remember 20 years ago. I remember um, I'd made this delivery and the bloke helped me out and got it and put it on the floor and then took it in the building. He should have took it off me and put it in the building, but either he was running late or I was running late or whatever, but I, I remember him doing me a favor. So he just basically tipped the stuff on the floor and then took them in the building. Well, in between times, this is what I'm thinking that happened. 
uh, a shower of rain came and it rained on them so it, the stuff was wet so it had to be brought in and dried then and the, and maybe the bloke didn't admit to saying that he took it off the truck dry but anyway it ended up it was wet so anyway I came back here obviously there'd been you know phone calls back and forwards your driver has delivered our material wet and I hadn't anyway so um so they came back and then they I had the orders then right from now on you've got a sheet every load and um uh I said I'm not sheeting every road if it's dry if it's not raining like a day like today or if there's no threat of rain I'm not going to sheet it yeah you must sheet it every day every every load now from now on I says no you can get stuffed I'm going uh don't want to work for you anymore and they, oh, don't wait, you can't go, you can't go because uh, you've got to give a week's notice. I says, I do not, I'm not going to spend a week doing something I don't want to do. You can put your job up where the sun don't shine. <laughs> That's my recollection anyway. And the thing is, it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed one bit. As a driver, as a driver, you can go, you can walk out of a job today. Uh, and walk into the next job by this afternoon. Yeah, I've done that several times. It, it, most drivers in their career have done that at one time. You know, you can get lost and you can get a job instantly driving. Once you've got your class one. I mean, my fa I, I haven't said it in years. My favorite saying was, if you asked me to dig a hole, if you gave me a pick and a shovel to dig a hole, I would tell you, um, I would tell you I've got a piece of paper that says I don't have to use a pick and shovel and dig a hole. And you'd say to me, uh, what, what, a, a doctor's note or something? No, I've got a class one license. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> it was very funny. Oh, it's funny. But yeah, the trucking industry hasn't changed. You can check, you can have a job every day of the week. If you've got your class one license or even your class two license uh, and you've got a few years under your belt, you, you can have a different job every day, yeah. It's always been like that, always been like that. And it's the sort of industry, you have a big row, well, all right, then get lost. <laughs> so they can get rid of you as quickly as possible and you can get rid of them. And it's no big deal. You just, whether I'm driving this for here or that for there, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the same thing, it's all driving. Uh, so I never thought I'd end up back at Brock. It's not called Brock anymore, but uh, it's called Zinc or something like that now. But uh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> funny story, funny story. This is a bit of an add-on film for Neil out of, we'll call it Brock. Brock Metals, it's a different name now. And alloy, it's a bit like an aluminium. It's, a, it's an alloy, it's a, you know, is an amazing recyclable thing you can recycle it forever you, you make the parts you melt the material then you make it into a shape and then when you finish with that shape you can melt it down again and make another shape well anyway i said i said i still got bits and so what would happen is they would send out like i was delivering in the truck they send out big bars and then they put it in the furnace and melt it. So it's almost like a liquid. They turn it into like a, you know, an alloy li liquid. And then the customer makes shapes out of it. Uh, does things, you know what I mean? And uh, it, it, as part of that process, there are some things and it comes back. So that sprue, you, they create scrap. So the scrap they create or the waste they create is not really a waste because all it can be done is melted into it again, go back to Brock Metal. So Brock Metals would supply them the the alloy. The al the, the firm would make a shape, uh, and part of making that shape, they would create scrap or returns, whichever way you want to look at it, and then Brock, Brock Metals would take it in and then remelt it, and obviously add to or make the mixture they want out of it. So anyway. And I said to him, I've still got stuff from Brock Metals, and I'm sure it's down here. Let's, um, how am I going to stuff myself down here? Hold on. 
this is why the light has been so handy the sensor light has been so handy i know they're way down here somewhere and they're not as they are look this like that's a brock metal thing and I've been out of there 20 years. These these are 20 and these, that was a Brock metal thing. Somebody was making these uh, and they'd come back in as scrap ready to be melted again. I remember these, uh, that as well. Uh, th they are definitely Brock metal things. I'm not sure about them. Let's have a further look up. These were definitely a Brock metal thing. I picked them up somewhere from whatever somebody was doing or whatever. And who remembers? The windscreen um, stick on your stick on your window. That was a that was a window thing of them days, wasn't it? That's definitely a Brock metal thing. Let's see now. Um, there was something else. Now this isn't this isn't, but that's come from a different direction. Hold on. Now, as far as I can recall, I've got two sorts of that. Two sorts of them somewhere. Two sorts of them somewhere. Where the hell are they? Hold oh, on. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a Brock metal thing. That's definitely a Brock metal thing. Yeah. It's come back in in the scrap bin, ready to be remelted. Um, I seem to recall these from Brock metal. I'm not sure about them. That's got to be a Brock metal thing, hasn't it? Yeah, that's an alloy. They've come from Brock metals. Little bits and pieces, you know. You you see them in the in the return bin, and you think, oh, they're handy. I'll have a few of them. Uh, and they've come here and they've stayed, <laughs> and they never did go anywhere. You just never know when you're going to make use of them. You just never know. Um, and I, I collected nuts and bolts in them days. These, now these were similar. I know these haven't come from Brock Metals, but they've come from another direction. But it was a similar sort of thing. So, yeah. Um, what else? We've done this one, haven't we? What else came from Brock Metals? I think that's about, that's about it. Of the stuff, oh, what was that? Maybe, maybe not. No, that's more of a metal, isn't it? Yeah, it's not an alloy. Most of the stuff that's in here, no, that wouldn't have been. Ah, possibly these could have been. Somebody was making loads of these. And you know, a few would accidentally appear in my pocket to come home to put in the stores. And I've used, I've used quite a, I would have had maybe a handful or two or a pocket full and brought them home of a particular thing that was coming in and I've looked in the bins. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a little update. I knew I had them somewhere down in the depths, down in the deep depths of my, of my drawers. I don't think these are all, yeah, these are all nuts and bolts, these. They're not Brock metal things. Let's just see if we see something that reminds us something. Hmm, no, they came from another place, from another direction. Because you do, because, because this, you take an, an interest in, no, no, not them. Because you take an interest in things, you, you remember where stuff comes from, although there's that much of it, and it's been here for years. I, I know each one of them. I know each one that's come from somewhere. Uh, I may have moved them around a bit. Yeah, no, there's nothing. It's them lot in that corner there. That's definitely Brock metal stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that I've, you know, had a a bag full or a crisp bag. That that was the thing. You um, always keep your crisp bags. Don't use all your crisp bags because you just might find something. That's in the very bottom there. You just might find a few of them that you can that you see in a skip or in a returns or something and you thought oh put a few of them in a crisp bag you get a little bag of them that's what that's all that's left of the brock metal metal but these would have come in 20 years ago because i've been doing this 
Now, I've been doing this collecting and hoarding and all the rest of it. This is 35 years, this is. This is 35 years worth of what I do. <laughs> you see how the sides light up red? Anyway, I was going to say something this morning at the gate. Uh, but then I thought, no, nah, can't be. I sort of suspected, but I didn't. And I didn't bother making a film. Well, anyway, look. <laughs> We're going there. We're going to Rashid Brothers. Golden Hillock Road. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Oh, I thought you only got a place like that once in a lifetime. Anyway, we're going there again today. That's why we're getting up early this morning. Mm. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, ding, ding, round two. Let's see if it's a bit easier second time around. Generally it is because you know what the crack is and you're a little less stressed. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, ding, ding, let's do it again. Not quite so new, uh, but but still a 71. These were the new ones before the new ones came, if you get what I mean. Look at that exhaust, the shininess is going. We'll have a look at the mileage in a minute, but we've still got to cover ourselves. We've got a little scratch there. Not that it matters, but it matters. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's still in really, it's what you expect anyway. In good nick 71 plate look yeah um, we've got a slight rub here on the step look that's a pallet can't you see look you have a pallet how the hell are you supposed to catch something like that in these tight places like we're going today anyway overall in really good nick which is only what you expect anyway, but sometimes they do get bashed about a bit early. But uh, absolutely spot on. Tank, yeah. No marks, no scratches, no gouges on the tank. Everything's good. Um, the back here, what was this? Slightly bent. This is slightly bent, that's all because he's missed the pin or somebody's missed the pin hit this bar here look that's a sign of missing the pin once in its lifetime lights aren't cracked or nothing like that everything in spot-on condition this um this truck will have had the, the same driver from day one from when it arrived the only People, other people that drive these are holiday cover, day off cover, that type of thing. So this is where I come in. Yeah. But all in all, no stone picks. All in all, pretty damn good. Which is what you expect anyway. You don't expect anything less. Hmm. So let's just pop and see the mileage on it let's just pop up here let's pop up here and see the mileage oh look at that 103 how much is that it's done that much mileage already 71 plate so uh, 11 this would be to the end of 2011 yeah 71 plate, I think, anyway. Yeah. So, let's crack on. Yeah, and I was wrong, 71. I was thinking 61, this is a 2001 vehicle. The end of 2001, this was. This was the last round of new ones. But there's been another round of new ones since, hasn't there? So this was the last round of new ones that came in. 